Wanted businessman Low Tech Joe is currently in Macau after evading arrest in Hong Kong. IG of police Tan Sri Muhammad Fuzi Harun told reporters that Jolo had fled Hong Kong the day his team landed there. Down south, the Singapore police said that Jolo and his associate Eric Tan Kim Lung are still very much on their wanted list. Yesterday, the Malaysian Immigration Department had cancelled Jolo's passport at the behest of the MACC. The cancellation was effective from June 15. T-Live owner Loop Holdings' application to stay an injunction granted in favour of Chart Times principal Lakafa International has been dismissed by the Court of Appeal. The injunction, which was granted last week, prohibits Loop from operating T-Live as a similar business as the Taiwanese chain for two years. The court said it rejected Loop's application as the company had breached contractual and legal obligations to Lakafa. Loop says its lawyers have filed for leave to appeal against the decision and to maintain status quo. Meanwhile, Chartime welcomed the court's decision and said it would take in any former Chartime franchisees that have been affected by the whole ordeal. Communications and Multimedia Minister Gobin Singh Deo welcomes Telecom Malaysia's move to lower broadband prices. However, he says that the quality should be of a high standard and on par with telcos globally. TM recently announced a new entry-level Unify package at 30 Mbps for less than 100 ringgit per month. He adds that apart from TM, other telcos also need to raise their game. Gobin says that he has already had individual meetings with several major telcos. He says that they have put forward a lot of very good ideas, but for him, it is the results that matter. Minister Dr. Zukefli Ahmad says that the special task force set up to look into the alleged drug and medical supply monopoly will hold its first meeting next week. The task force comprises four ministries and is headed by Economic Affairs Minister Datuk Sri Muhammad Azmin Ali. Zukefli says that no companies holding medical concession contracts have been called in yet. He explains that it needs to be dealt with on a ministerial level first and that its own policies still need to be ironed out. Time Dhabi Property said that it has sold as much as 90% of its new launches within one week. This suggests resilient demand for its residential and commercial properties despite a soft property market. In particular, Sign Prop was referring to its landed home series in Denai Alam, known as Samania Hills, as well as its commercial units at 3 Avenue in Banda Bukit Raja. A total of 90% of Samania Superlink homes were sold last weekend, while semi-detached units were 73% sold. On the commercial front, Simprop said that 80% of its new commercial units at 3 Avenue were bought within a week of its June 6th launch. <music>